Take a look at these four pictures. What is unusual about them? If you notice, these x-ray images clearly show that these animals have swollen necks. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary education video sponsored by Tuapayo Vets, where veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. Let's take a look at how x-rays can help in diagnosing the cause of these swollen necks. But before that, let us understand the anatomy of the neck area, in this case a dog's. Firstly, we have the esophagus or gullet, which is the tube where food travels down to the stomach to be digested. Note that this dog has mega esophagus, a condition which enlarges the gullet. This tube should not be clearly visible in an x-ray otherwise. Next, we have the trachea or windpipe, where air travels to and from the lungs when the dog breathes in and out. After this, we have the nasopharynx, which is the space between the nose and the windpipe as well as the oropharynx, which is the space between the mouth and the windpipe. Finally, we have the soft palate and the epiglottis, which prevents food from travelling down the windpipe and choking the air. Let's study a case where a dog has a neck abscess. This is the history of this case. This dog is a 14-year-old mini schnauzer, which has a swelling at the neck area. It is unable to stand or eat on its own, and the owner reports that these symptoms have been present for 3 days, although the infection is suspected to have lasted for 10. Next, let's look at how we collect evidence. There are many diagnostic tests that can be carried out. Firstly, identifying the bacteria by drawing the reddish-brown pus from the neck and then cultivating the bacteria. Next, there is also magnetic resonance imaging and computerized tomography scans, known as MRI or CT scans, which provide a view of the affected organs. In addition, there is also ultrasound, which uses high-frequency sound waves to probe and view inner organs of the dog. However, due to financial constraints, only an x-ray and a blood test was carried out instead. An x-ray was taken of the mini schnauzer, and it shows us that the esophagus, barely visible, is constricted and this could explain its inability to eat while the trachea has also been pushed down which causes its panting and difficulty in breathing. The parts around the neck which are cloudy is the abscess which is a swollen area containing pus accumulation and this inflammation are, is not in the trachea but rather around the muscles in the neck and is likely to have caused the complications involved in this case. An abscess can be caused by bacterial, fungal, parasitic or other reasons. Although blood tests reveal a higher white blood cell and neutrophil count than normal, allowing us to conclude that this infection was bacterial. Let's now see how x-rays reveal other causes of neck swelling. The first case is that of an 8-year-old Labrador Retriever, which has a swelling around the neck area, chest, sternum, prepuce and forelimbs, causing it to have a double chin. The x-ray reveals fluid under the skin, suggesting a condition known as cardiac tamponade, where the fluid buildup causes compression of the heart, making the dog short of breath. This dog has swallowed a chicken bone. Can you see it? The chicken bone is not visible in this x-ray, but was later confirmed to be present in the caudal esophagus, which is further down the esophagus than what this picture shows. This foreign object irritated the 4-year-old silk terrier, causing it to vomit daily and have a painful throat. The last case is interesting, and it is a case of a cat with a painful and large submandibular lymph node and throat, causing it to purr weakly and have anorexia for 2 days. You might think it's because bones are lodged in its trachea, but those bones are actually hyoid bones, which help to maintain the structure of the windpipe. What this x-ray shows us is that there is gas in the gullet of the cat, which is an unusual occurrence and suggests bacterial infections, possibly due to the swallowing of a foreign body, as bacteria emits gases during respiration. To conclude, x-rays are a useful diagnosis tool for swollen necks. Combined with other tests, such as blood tests, 
and ultrasound scans, they can provide accurate diagnosis of solar necks in animals. For more information, you may email the following address or visit these websites managed by Tuapayo Vets.